She arrived in typical Subo style. At 49 years old, Susan Boyle has broken the pop star stereotype, proving you can't judge a book by its cover. And now, in her first autobiography, she's written about her rise to fame. Hi. Why did you decide to do the book? I decided to do the book what? to prove a point. To prove a point. What points? I'm as good as anybody else, and I can keep going. What's next for you? Who knows? Watch your space. She's had an incredible 18 months, breaking records and becoming a worldwide star. Fans will queue for hours for a glimpse of the singer. Some arrived in central London at 2 a.m. to get their book signed. She's just an incredible woman. Her voice, it, it, you can't explain it. It's just something beyond compare. I love Susan Bowler. I think she's a wonderful uh, inspiration. Her dream was just so incredible, and the fact that she conquered it. Well, Susan's going to be signing a copy of everyone's book, Who Turns Up? And that's because this is the only signing event she's going to be doing for her new book. But just how beneficial are these events? Protesters turned up for Tony Blair's book launch, and he was forced to cancel his second signing. But he still broke records, selling more than 92,000 copies in just a week. Fans queued all night for Cheryl Cole's new book, which sold nearly 11,000 in its first seven days. But some stars have been criticised for writing them so early in their careers. The big publishers know the value of celebrities. They know that we're, you know, slightly infatuated with them. So they offer them the big bucks and they're cashing in while they can. With Christmas approaching, it's the most competitive time to launch an autobiography. But it's thought Subo would be worth £16 million by next year. So any proceeds from this book will be a bonus. Amy Lewis, Sky News in central London.